Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Let's check out a couple more growth and income stock pick ideas now with Alex Colt, our growth and income stock analyst at Zach's.com. Now, I know I've heard about these companies in the past. I think we've talked about at least one of them. Yes. Uh, but you're going to start with Costco, right. COST, which you've written about here recently. Uh, yeah. Obviously, everybody knows they're in the retail food business. Yeah, and uh, more, you know, more like their warehouses, basically, membership yeah, type membership. warehouses. Yeah, people are familiar with them, operate uh, these stores all across the U.S. and abroad. Right. And this is one that I actually have not talked about before. Um, there is some uh, interesting recent news here. Um, let me uh, first actually point out here, this is you know, a growth and income stock. There is a dividend here, uh, annual dividend of 72 cents. It translates into an industry leading yield of 1.2%. Mm -hmm. And the recent interesting news is the fact that they've announced they're going to stop carrying Coke products. Well, they've announced that, yeah, they're not going to have them in the store. I don't know who canceled on who. It was a dispute. It was a dispute between the two. It was a price dispute. It's actually kind of a sign of the, of the recessionary times, if you will. This is where retailers are, you know, are working hard to keep their prices down. On the other hand, suppliers like Coca-Cola, they're working hard on, on keeping profit margins up. And there was a dispute. They couldn't agree on the price. No more Cokes. So and, and the fact that Costco put out a release on it yeah. uh, tells me that somewhere in that hierarchy there in management, uh, somebody's thinking it's going to impact the bottom line. Yeah, that, that may be. It. I think also in some ways it may even been some, somewhat of a public relations move, letting cust letting the customers out there know, you know, we're kind of doing this because yeah. the prices weren't low enough. Could be for the customers. Um, it, it, if anything, you know, if nothing else, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. And you, you, you're probably right. There, there's going to be some sort of impact on the bottom bottom line. So yeah, we'll, we'll and also see. also interesting to see what that product is going to be replaced by. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the beverage line. Yeah. So we'll have to keep our eye on this one for sure. Right. Where's the growth? Where's the income here? Um, well, and I'll get into the growth. Uh, analysts are seeing a lot of growth here, growth uh, going forward. Um, forecasts are, are bullish uh, for the full year. As you can see, even in the last week, they were up a penny. Also over the past couple months and three months, uh, uh, forecasts have been on the rise for both this current fiscal year and the following year. Um, income, as I mentioned, is an annual 72 cents. They did recently declare an 18 cent dividend that was paid out in uh, early um, November. That's a quarterly of the 72 cents. Uh, and as I said, 1.2% for the yield that beats the industry average. They are also, uh, they're, they're winning on the fundamentals. They're also beating uh, the, the benchmarks uh, technically. This is the, the uh, uh, chart of the last three months. As you can see here, it is outpacing the S&P 500. In fact, it doubled the S&P 500 return over the past three months. Yeah. All right. The other one that you want to bring to our attention is Casey's General Stores, C-A-S-Y, the ticker symbol. Now, I know that we've talked about this one in the past, you yeah. and I. Um, convenience stores tied in with gas stations. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, all across the Midwest. Um, and this is one that I mentioned before. Um, the, uh, on the income side here, there's an annual dividend of 34 cents, translated into a yield of just 1%, but that is still above the industry average uh, for, for Casey's. Mm -hmm. um, and estimates are on the rise here as well. Uh, analysts are, are, are bullish on this one. This is, they see growth here going forward. Again, pretty much all across the board. For the quarter, um, it's down just, you know, or, or, I'm sorry, no, it's actually up uh, three cents. So I take that back. Uh, estimates are on the rise all across the board. All right. Um, and this one also is beating the, the benchmarks. Uh, fundamentally, uh, return on equity of 14%, that doubles the industry average. Has a net profit margin of 2%. The industry average is barely making uh, a profit here. And uh, as I mentioned, the, the yield of 1% is an industry leading yield. Another benchmark that is beating is the S&P 500. Um, shares are on the rise. Again, this is a three-month comparison. Outpacing uh, the Casey's is outpacing the S&P 500. All right. Do you own either of these? I do not. Check out more growth and income stock ideas as well as stock pick ideas and other areas of investing on our homepage at Zacks.com. The upper right-hand corner is where we post four new stock pick ideas for you each day in one in each of, of the different investing categories that we write about on Zacks.com. With Alex Kolb, I'm Terry Ruffalo.